Vaira, ideas in the realm of Gematria from the Parsha. This has been a question that I've had for a long time, and through a Gematriatic meditation, might have found the answer. In the Parsha of the Akedah, we read, and if you're looking in the email, please make note of the items that are in bold. The verse says, And Avraham took the wood for the burnt offering, and he placed it upon his son Isaac, and he took into his hand the fire and the knife, and they both went together. Genesis 22, 6. And then it says, And Isaac spoke to Abraham his father, and he said, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Genesis 22, 7. If you take a look at the items in verse 6 that Avraham took, it does not match up with the items that Yitzchak asked about. Avraham took the wood and the fire and the knife. But Yitzchak only asked, here are the fire and the wood. Why did Yitzchak not ask about the knife? And I asked this question to someone, and uh, someone once gave an answer that is extremely pushup shot, which means simple explanation. He said that Abraham may have ha- he have held the fire visibly and concealed the knife in order not to cause any unnecessary fear in Yitzchak. While that explanation works out on a simple level, I was looking for something deeper. I wasn't entirely satisfied with that answer. Through Gematria, I might have found an answer. The fire and the wood are used to burn the sacrifice after it has already been slaughtered. In other words, after it is dead. The knife is the instrument in the sacrifice process, which is the main part of the sacrifice. It's the killing. It's the actual slaughtering. It's... Certainly, in Avram's case, the object that would actually, at that point, do the killing of his son. It's the the most crucial, most painful act. And once the son is dead, he's already sacrificed, has been made. Um, Many commentators have said that the Mesiris Nefesh, in other words, the self-sacrifice of Avraham, is what gave Am Yisrael the resilience to endure throughout all of the generations and ultimately will be the key to the final redemption. The word for the knife in the verse, in the Pasuk, is in Hebrew, Hama'acheles. The word Hama'acheles has a numerical value of 496. The word Tzemach Mashiach, which means branch of Messiah, and you might be wondering what Tzemach Mashiach means, but if you in Tanakh, the word Tzemach is uh, the branch in, um, in in the Nevi'im, like, um, like in the book of Zechariah, Tzemach, it refers to Mashiach, the branch, also in, I think in uh, Jeremiah, Yirmiyahu, and Isaiah, Tzemach. Uh, we also say in Yishma Esra, Es Tzemach David. So the words Tzemach Mashiach, the branch of Messiah, has a numerical value of exactly 496 as well, suggesting that Yitzchak intuitively knew that the ordeal that he was going through would lead to the ultimate redemption. And even if he physically saw the knife, would not have to ask about it its loftier and higher purpose, and therefore did not mention the knife in the verse. Have a great Shabbos.